Hi guys, Melvin here from Neuron Digital. In this short tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to set up the server side of the ultimate new app template. If you have the documentation ready, open it in front of you because we're going to be following it. First off, we're going to set up the configuration file. Then we're going to upload everything to the server side. Then we're going to set up the SQL database. Then we can log in to the template. And then finally, we're going to set up the Firebase push notifications. So let's get started. Open up the file that you just purchased. Open server side code and open up config.ini. I'm going to use sublime text here. We need to input the database settings. I can create a new database here on my server. Okay, so once you create the database and copy all the credentials in here, just close this file, save it, and we need to copy all these files here onto your server. For this, I'm going to use uh, an FTP client, FileZilla. I'm going to connect to my server and I'm just going to copy everything to my server. Once all the files have been copied to your server, we can continue with the database. So open up MySQL admin, go to import, and we're going to import the SQL database file. Okay, so all tables have been imported. Make sure that you have a user admin here with the password hashed, of course. And since that's done, we can go ahead and log in to our admin page. Once you go to the admin page URL, you will be greeted by this page here. The default credentials are admin and pass, P-A-S-S. -S. Click login. And as you can see, we have successfully logged in as the admin. You can add more users from here if you want. You can add admin users and daughters. You can also add more categories, which are the topics. And of course, you can create the articles. Now, the final thing we need to do is to make the push notifications work. So to do this, we need to go to the Firebase console. I have already created a project in the Firebase console. I'm going to settings, project settings, and I'm going to click on cloud messaging. Now from here, we just need to copy the server key and we need to paste it in config.ini. We can paste the API access key of Firebase in here. From this configuration file, you also need to change these two keys here. The first one is the server URL, and the second one is the Twitter share tag. These are both used for sharing, so when you share an article, it will be shared on this URL, and also if the user shares it on Twitter, your Twitter page. Once you're done from this file, you can save it and upload it to your server. So once you do all this, the admin page should be fully functional. So that's all from this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial where we'll be going to be customizing the Android app.